guys and gals. Before we get into today's episode, I want to thank all of you for your help and support. The channel known as The Gents has unpublished the video with the content he stole from me. This is all thanks to you, and I am beyond grateful. Also, I want to give a special shout out to who's peeping in my window for bringing the issue to my attention. Sincerely, you rock, dude. All of you guys are awesome, and I really, really appreciate you being here. Now, let's get into today's episode. What's more important, looks or money? How much money? It depends. I'm broke. Give me your money. Let's go. Give me your money. Let's go. Honestly, if you're not making six figures, get the... Ah, children of the night. They do not make them like they used to. Centuries ago, when I tore into their necks, I drank only the sweetest of blood. But now, the only thing running through their veins is cheap booze and disappointment. <coughs> Bestie. I was gonna ask you to help remodel my house. You do know how to apply plaster, right? I mean, you spend four hours a day applying it to your face. I thought you'd be an expert at it. Yeah, you, you know what? You thought wrong. So, absolutely no useful skills outside of cringe. Ah, just like a woman. Guys, no doubt you've heard women say if he wanted to, he would. Well, here's your proof that if she wanted to, she would, without making you jump through hoops or making you pay for it. And if you buy my online course and pay me one million dollars, I'll tell you how you can score women like this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna tell you for free. Go to the gym, eat healthy, get in shape, dress right, not rich, and make sure you smell good. When you look good, you naturally get confident. And if you're not a particularly handsome guy, grow a beard and keep it very well groomed. It's not rocket science, it's not secret. So get to it. As someone who grew up in a super evangelical, like modesty culture, I find this very problematic for a lot of reasons, but here's just one. I think the main reason why modesty culture is toxic is because it completely distracts from the beautiful gospel of Jesus that says, I meet you right where you are in full acceptance and full love. Jesus doesn't look at us and say, hey, clean yourself up and then I'll accept you. I see. So you accept people as they are. Interesting. Just don't settle. Don't settle. Don't entertain <laughs> these clowns who you know, just want to hang out with you. So much for accepting people as they are, huh? Anyway, you wanted to show us your engagement ring? Uh-huh. You know, this reminds me of a Bible verse. Go something like this. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Now, personally, I don't know much about modesty culture, but John 2.15.17 disagrees with you profoundly. On the other hand, Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. 